Does wildlife photography need to be so expensive? My name is Sam and welcome back to another wildlife video. And let's try to answer that question. Let's go. Do you really need to have something like this to uh, take your wildlife photography? Well, that's why I'm here today to find out and put this aside. And I'm here to try this. So this is the uh, high definition monocular from Goski or Goskai. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it comes in the box with some accessories. So that's what we're gonna try today. And using nothing more but our phone. So let's go and try it out and see how it looks. Right, so let's see what's in the box. So it comes with a, a carrying case that you can strap onto your belt, which is quite useful. We've got a setup guide for how to set up your, uh, your phone. So we're going to use that. Here is the instruction manual. So this is the 12 times 55. So that means it magnifies 12 times and the front element has 55 millimeters, uh, which should allow quite a few, quite a lot of light actually in to, uh, to give you a bright and clean image. We've got the phone mount so you can mount your phone like this so this is where you put your phone and that goes into the monocular and we've got the actual monocular which is very nice it's actually nice color a very good grip on it. it comes with a handle so you can hold it quite nicely you have a front cap and a back cap which is tied to the uh, to the actual handle and it, it's a fixed zoom so you can't zoom in or zoom out but you have the uh, focus focus ring here and also you have the adjustment for your eye. So how far your eye, how far do you want your eye to be from the uh, back element uh, to maximize the, the clarity. Uh, let's see. It is very sharp and very light. It's actually quite nice. It's very good. Cool, so let's mount our phone and let's go and take some photos and see how they turn out. So I think this is for someone that is looking to get into wildlife photography but doesn't want to spend a lot of money on a camera, on a big lens. Big lenses are expensive. Um, and not everyone might enjoy <laughs> not everyone might enjoy uh wildlife photography as much as wildlife photographers you might be someone that is loving nature and loves to go out and loves to see wild animals but you don't want to invest into a camera we actually have a fallow deer buck here which is a leucistic one 
So that's a great opportunity to try and get some photos with this. So let's mount it. Now, if you have an iPhone 11 and latest, well, the one with three cameras, what I recommend is, because when you take photos and you zoom in and zoom out, the cameras, they switch automatically between the three. So what I recommend is if you um, actually download Lightroom for your, for your mobile phone and log into it, then you also have an option to take photos and that gives you control on what camera the phone is going to use. So I usually go on to the telephoto one, which is the T here. And get stuck with that. So make sure you align your phone mount to the camera here and then pop your phone onto the monocular and there's a little screw here that you can tighten up so that will fix it onto your phone Now, it really depends if you want to take portrait photo or landscape. I usually prefer landscape. So let's give it a try. So with the phone mounted onto the uh, monocular, the, the, the buck, the fallow buck just ran into the bushes. But there are a couple of squirrels down here. So I'm going to try and take some photos using the Lightroom app um, that also allows me to shoot in a digital negative which is closest to RAW rather than JPEG so I can actually do some edits on it and using uh, a landscape view so let's go and try and photograph them Now, you do need to use the manual focus as you basically put another lens in front of a lens of the phone camera. But you get used to it quite quickly. Now, it's not very easy to keep this still. Uh, remember, you're basically putting on a, a phone camera, a 12 times magnifier. Pair that with the telephoto camera of the phone, which is two, two and a half times. You basically magnify the image about 24 times. So it's quite a big zoom. So if you can find something to rest your hand on, and I can see the squirrel is back, the squirrel is back on the floor. So let me try and get a photo of that. So, who is this for, actually? Well, it won't match with a camera, obviously. You won't get the same quality, but if you're an avid wildlife lover, uh, a bird watcher, uh, even for sports or take it out to a football match or watching the moon, this is a brilliant quality for the price. And there will be a link in the description if you want to check it out. So. 
Thank you to Goski or Goskai for sending me this to, to try it out. Unfortunately, I forgot uh, my tripod because I have a small handheld tripod that you can uh, put in here. So it has a, a mount, which is brilliant, I believe. Um, are you gonna get amazing photos out of it? They won't be printable or I don't know, but for social media, for yourself even, it's brilliant. I think it's an amazing value for money. And I think this will be something that will be put in my backpack every time I go out. So I won't have to lift my 600 mil every time I want to check if something is up in the tree or I think I saw something because the quality of this, as I said, I'm actually impressed. It's really sharp, really light, and it's brilliant. So please do check out the, the link in the description and grab yourself one. It's basically a no brainer for the price and the quality you get. I'd strongly recommend it.